Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekend love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Leo signs for Friday the 30th through September 1st. Hopefully you follow the other two fire signs. Their readings were absolutely amazing. So we will hope for that for our Leos as well. We're going to do the good old uh, Celtic Cross here with the first two tarot decks I ever owned. So we're throwing it back old school here. I will be going live tonight for the new moon energies. Uh, just reading the 12 zodiacs. I won't be doing uh, questions, um, like personal questions on there, but I hope you guys join me to see what energy is coming in for the new moon for you guys. So, your situation that you are currently experiencing in love is the Ace of Cups. Um, finding your own independence, finding who you truly are, um, learning to fill that cup up on your own. Uh, this was a hard lesson that you um, had to go through during this this uh, last anywhere from nine months to a year you've been going through this awakening process um, however your biggest challenge is people having to deal with your independence your high vibration you have put in a lot of hard work to attain this level and you're not really you don't really care if people can't handle it. This is who you are and this is what you have to offer. So beautiful. Your future influences that are coming in for you. You're coming in um, right. I got to get my cards out of the way. You're coming in in your element. <coughs> Brighter days are ahead for you is what I am hearing. Um, wow. Having the courage to move forward, doing what it is that you want. Uh, some of you are getting pregnant, and that's the new love. Congratulations on that. Um, but this is really having the courage to move forward no matter what people think. Uh, having the courage to follow your own path. It's clearly being uh, illuminated for you uh, to walk down, to follow. Uh, putting, putting you in positions for big opportunities. Um, your past influences was the Four of Cups. So... Um, you weren't seeing the gift that this self-love was going to bring you in the past, but you sure as shit see it now because you were focusing on other people, how they were making you happy or how they were disappointing you or offers that were coming in and offers that weren't coming in. Now you see the value. Now you see the uh, benefit of having this love for self and how good this vibration of independence and self-love cannot be beat. No matter who loves you, how hard they love you, or how good they love you, the feeling that you give yourself when you are in this high vibration outshines any love. And that's why it's so important to find that first before you move forward. Um, you weren't seeing it in the past, but you clearly see it now. You see it bright and clear. In your uh, future events, you have the Page of Cups. So somebody is coming in, making you a offer. Uh, of love for some of you you're receiving an apology um, for them not seeing your value in the past for them not offering you this love sooner um, for some of you this is just a pure a brand new love offer um, could be somebody younger than you but this is also all about uh, your imagination coming to life um, you're helpful you're feeling youthful you uh, you're just you're really in this beautiful meditative state that's bringing out your affectionate side, your friendly side, your charming. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing you're releasing a damaging habit. Uh, so you could be getting over some addictions or some like codependency issues. Amazing. But um, yeah, this is, this is awesome for you guys. Um, Yeah, in your foundation, you were dealing with a situation where you were not emotionally fulfilled. Um, at one point in time, it made you very happy. There could have been somebody else in the picture. And that's why you're staring at these three of cups, kind of upset, sad. And now this person is returning, offering you just that one cup 
um, and ending that third party because you stood up for yourself. You were not sticking around in any situations where you were not emotionally fulfilled any longer. For some of you, it's a job as well with the Nine of Pentacles there. Um, you could have left a job that was emotionally draining and no longer satisfied you. And you're getting a job offer coming in this weekend as well. Um, so amazing. How you are affecting the world. The Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're coming to the completion of a cycle. Um, you haven't completely walked away from it yet, especially if it's a job. But you are. Um, how this is affecting the world is because you are about to step into your soul's purpose. You're about to step into your power um, if this is a job. If this is a relationship, um, you're uh, putting the past behind you and moving forward with this person that's offering you this new beginning. Um, and the two of you are going to do something in a big way with that sun. No matter what, that's huge energy for you moving forward, Leos. All right, how the world is affecting you, the Three of Wands. Your blessings are coming in. Your ships are about to dock right in front of you where you've been uh, standing here manifesting this. Um, absolutely amazing. This is bringing in, like you have done the work um, with this Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. That is the most amazing combination of self-love and self-respect and val you know your self-worth and your value and you're standing here strong um manifesting you know a ten of cups situation as soon as you release that uh, that burden of the past which i do see you have already completed the cycle because you're of this high vibration the only higher vibration is the empress and the sun's going to help you attain that but you're going to manifest in somebody who reciprocates and reflects and gives you that same amount of love, um, making it a ten of uh, cups situation. So your hopes and fears. <laughs> ten of cups. So most definitely you are um, hoping for this big time love to come in for you. You've done the work. You now know what it feels like to love yourself the way you should and now you're wanting to give it out into the world and you're hoping that opportunity comes in um, and it is coming in for you your fear is that in this time of you healing you somehow um, missed your your boat missed your ship but you didn't your blessing is still coming in um, your fear is dealing with somebody who is could be um, lying or just immature energy lack of communication that's not going to be the case so release this fear i don't see that happening um your hopes here with the two cards that you have in your situation you will not manifest this kind of energy so release that fear my friends and your outcome is the hierophant why not let's bring in this spiritual beautiful commitment a higher connection with your higher power with your higher self um, yeah, this is ending in a big commitment. Um, and this is all happening and starting this weekend. Your bottom of the deck and shared energy is somebody who has that unconditional love for themselves, love for you. It's clarified with the two of cups. This is a soulmate love. I have been telling everybody for how long now this new moon at the on August 30th is shifting and changing the whole game. And you are no exception to the rule. Um, you have been taking the time needed to rest, rejuvenate, recuperate, and heal from a heartache of the past. And now you are most definitely sitting on your beautiful throne, looking confident, feeling confident, knowing your worth, having your value, and not settling for less. Not only that, your connection to your higher power is on point. And it is now time for you to receive this big love that you have put into yourself. Now you've given it out to the universe. Now it's coming back into you in the form of a soulmate or a twin flame for some of you. Um, yeah, these. Are, this is most definitely, I'm not even seeing life partners. This is a soulmate or a twin flame situation. So let's see what, there's not much I have to clarify here. This is pretty amazing reading. All right, so. Bottom of the deck is a hierophant. Once again, when asked, when I was concentrating on the Ace of Cups, 
your love of self, your healing, your free, your, your willingness to give your love to the universe, you know, like free, like, you know, putting yourself out there, helping, volunteering for some of you. Um, the universe is gifting that back to you in the form of a soulmate. Um, you had to um, get to this level of vibration in order for that person to come in for you, but they're here and they're offering you um, this new beginning, this, this love um, that you have been hoping for, but at, in the back of your mind. You've been more focused on um, gaining your independence. You knew that you could put your prayers up to the heavens and they would return your wishes in a big, big way. This is something that's going to be tangible. This is an offer coming in that is actually going to be real. Wow. That's so amazing. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. For like I said, a lot of you, this is a twin flame. Um, I have the stars and the sun um, with the nine of cups. Emotional fulfillment, but prayers being heard and answered and wishes coming true. The time is now um, in this near future. Let's see what these three of wands is bringing in for you. Why is the three of wands here for our Leos? Wow. Getting out of your head, getting out of this place of being stuck. For some of you, you're traveling, you're moving, no longer being stuck in one place. Uh, you are taking a trip for some of you. Why is this hierophant here for our Leos as the outcome? This most definitely is a higher connection to spirit and a... Uh, a marriage or an engagement for some of you in the near future um, that's going to be so much celebration. No more third party situations. This is you, the divine, and your person in a spiritual commitment um, to each other. This is going to move very quickly um, with the King of Cups clarifying. Uh, they're going to come forward very quick and offer that love to you. This shift with the new moon is going to push this connection uh quick but they're not going to be that there's no longer that flighty like inconsistent energy this is the real deal because this is a heaven sent connection this is blessed by the angels and coming to fruition for you most definitely a past life soulmate and um, in this time that the two of you have taken apart if you've been together in this life there is the realization they have not stopped thinking about you a day yet this is leading to that that reconciliation, that four of wands, um, beautiful love. So let's see what we got for you guys for your sacred traveler. Then I will be going to the Vimeo side where we will pull um, actions to take, your long-term outcome clarified with some time prediction cards with the after tarot as well as some romance angels and guidance cards. So please join me over there if this resonates with you. If you uh, so wish, I will be going live once again tonight doing the new moon energy. So let's see where Leo, whoa. All right, what was I saying? So free and giving to your energy. You are a mystic healer. Healing energy flows through you to you so you can help bring healing to others. It says inner and outer healing is happening on all levels right now. A situation within a relationship is being resolved. Have faith that this is really happening. This is the time to find the source of challenges. Transform your inner grievances and do it now. No longer need to carry it with you. It's time to release. Like that nine of wands was saying, you are a healing force for others. Even if you're not aware of it yet, you are about to step into the warm shining path of a mystic healer there are times when the traveler steps off the path to search for a healer the healer instructs that everything in nature has an intrinsic ability to restore itself and reminds you that you have this powerful ability within you as well for healing to occur on the outside it is essential for healing to occur on your inner planes to do this meditate by visualizing a beautiful vital future for yourself and trust that recovery is on its way Past life issues may be emerging in order to be released. Mystic healers are working with you to resolve emotional and physical challenges at this time. Be patient and have faith that beneath the surface, all is well and bringing you to where you need to be to perform your purpose. Amazing, Leos. 
All right, guys, have a beautiful weekend if I don't see you tonight. Um, don't forget, check it out over on Vimeo to see your time prediction, your outcomes, and all other messages Spirit wants to um, give you. If you decide not to hop over there, no problem. Thank you so very much for joining me on this side. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Drop me a like if you um, enjoyed this reading. Uh, I'm so very thankful for you guys to be on my journey with me. It makes it um, unlike any other. Without you, it wouldn't be the same. So thank you for joining me on my channel. God bless.